with Katie here for the next Try It Tuesday Prompt Stick Challenge. So I've got my prompt sticks ready. And just a reminder, you can find these, um, sign up and become a member of the Facebook group, All Things Mixed Media, Creative Katie. It's in the file category. It's also in my blog. Um, for anybody who wants to have their own prompt sticks at home to help inspire them as they're working on their pages. So we're going to do another Try It Tuesday. So there are the categories to the prompt sticks. And I'm going to pull them out. So red is the paint or ink medium and we're going to use Liquitex Acrylics. Feel free to adjust some of these. If you don't have them, use something close to it. Um, the red category is something very personal to what you have. If all you have is craft, craft acrylics, you're going to use that every time. Um, don't fret it. Don't go out and buy new stuff. Just make do. Um, I'm thinking of actually changing the prompt stick challenge and maybe having a couple techniques together or maybe, you know, having an extra kind of the red would be a random, an extra pull from one of the categories and then you can use whatever mediums you see fit. So just an idea, let me know what you think about that um, in the comments. We'll see where it goes. So it says purple is texture and it says use colored coffee filters or paper towels. So I love, love, love cleaning up my messes and putting them on paper towels or coffee filters and they both provide such lovely texture because on the on the um, paper towels you get the texture of the paper towel and the coffee filter especially if you tear it collages so well onto the pages so if you have some with leftover paint that you've made that's great and if you don't Take some medium, take some colors, make the colors that you want using the coffee filter. It's very, very inexpensive and it produces a great effect. And I really want everybody to try that out because it is one of my favorite things for collage when it comes to collaging. Green pattern, it says to stamp into wet acrylic paint with stamps. So I think I'll be doing a video on that on the tidbits and tips. Um, playlist of my on my YouTube channel how that works but you can get some very interesting effects stamping into the wet acrylic paint with your stamps so that's a great one the blue is the color of theme and the theme here is going to it says trees or an outside outdoors theme so um, really quite open there to it lots of we should see lots of different interpretations collage technique is the orange technique which is going to go rather well with the colored coffee filters and paper towels so collaging using these whatever color you have or mix color um, and the last one is says doodle flowers or vines. So that could be a border, it could be part of your outdoor theme, could be a variety of things. So to recap, red using Liquidex Acrylics, don't sweat it. If you have any kind of acrylic, use that. Um, the idea is to dig out something that you haven't necessarily used and to challenge yourself to use those things that you have that maybe aren't your favorites but if we work with them a little bit more, maybe we'll get to get to understand how they work and how we can make them work for us. Purple, which is all about the texture, um, using coffee filters and paper towels that have been colored, either stamped on when you're doing these. Are, some of these are jelly, jelly prints. Um, some of them are clean off prints from the jelly process. Some of it is clean off prints. That's what this one is from my Dilutions paints, cleaning off the paint dabber, anything. And if I don't have the color that I need, I make one. Don't sweat it. 
You don't have to have a complete stash of them. Green is all about pattern, stamping into wet acrylic paint with stamps. So using some of your stamps and stamping into the acrylic to get the impression. Use a tree or outdoors theme is our theme. Use a collage technique. So you could use the collage technique underneath it or you can use collage to create the picture. So there's two ways of using collage and doodle flowers or vines. So I'm going to be challenged with the doodling. So and when you're done please come and join the creation ships that are developing in the Facebook group All Things Mixed Media Creative Katie. We'd love to see you there. We have a wonderful group of people who are sharing the journey of creativity. Um, lots of friendships have been developed, creation ships have been developed, and it's becoming a wonderful group of artists. Till next time, it's Creative Katie. Bye!